For receptors, we can classify them through different ways. One way is by their structure. This depends on the dendrites. The dendrites can be free. This is a free nerve endings, like the root hair plexus, the one we saw in AB1, or encapsulated, the dendrites are in capsule, like the tactile corpuscle, or the special uh, structure, which in this case, they have a unique shape. Those are the rods and cones we will see in this chapter. We can also classify receptors by the stimulus location, whether it's external stimuli, this will be like sound and light, so those are extraceptors. Whether it's internal receptor, this will be introceptor, like the pH and blood sugar, or proprioceptors, those are for the position of the body, you will usually find them in skeletal muscles and joints. The third way of receptor classification is by the stimulus type to what they are responding. So there are the neuroreceptors, those are for pain. There are the mechanoreceptors, those are for physical stimulus like touches. There are thermoreceptors, those for temperature, photoreceptors for light, chemoreceptors for smell and taste, and then there is the osmoreceptors, those are for the water and electrolytes.